here. They could definitely dive. If they had the Alistar ult, they don't though, and they don't have that many flashes. It's going to be a little iffy. They really should just siege out this tower. Um, throwing, uh, Carlos should just throw binds at the, at the Orianna so she can't wave clear. All five are back for Westview, but it looks like they'll be giving up this tower. Wave is almost dead. They shouldn't be able to finish on this, but on the next wave, they should be able to thresh very low from those binds he ate. Orianna, very long mana. Decently chunked too. They should give this tower up. They could go for it, but it doesn't look like they will. Vayne going to farm bottom lane here. And this should be another tier 2 tower for Walnut High School. Playing this game out very clean right now. Very impressed by Rofine. Some were doubting her, but she's playing this game. She's doing her job as a sub. She's playing the game solid. This isn't a team comp like the last one where they just need Tristan to carry. Just doing her job as Lucian. Following up to the aggression, not dying. And Justin Ku and Sub just making a bunch of plays happen. Sean doing his thing. Carlos putting on a bunch of pressures of Omi Morgana. This is going to be another dragon. Not able to steal it. Can they aggress over the wall? He's going to flash over. He's going to dash over to the red buff. And he will get out. A bit too aggressive from Soup. I mean, Justin to blow that out. And the culling will completely miss. Uh, they should just back. Spend their copious amounts of gold. Almost all of them on a 4 digits here. Gonna pick up the red buff for good reasons as they leave. Thresh getting too aggressive for the red buff. Oriana will get the ult but no follow up there. Doesn't matter. And Soup wants more. Going in with Sean here. 9 WQ range. That heal will get him out. Scott free. Don't go for that. Thank you. And they should really just back. They're getting a little testy here. They're not the health. Not healthy. Health and mana pools aren't completely full from Wall High School here. And they've got a lot of gold to spend. They should have gone for this. Forgetting where his flag is, but Sean being the bro, saving him there for that slight lapse in mental judgment. Uh, not remembering his flag was there. Accidentally dragged to it while trying to clear the wave with this dragon strike. But he will get out scot free. Refine should pick up this wave and recall, as well as the Western Wall High. They should clear that top wave and start pushing for the last inner tower here. 10k goal lead at 20 minutes. This game is looking good for one high. But it isn't completely over yet. Soup actually opting to max that W second instead of the E. Carlos hanging around here right now. He's gonna try to deny them the tier 1 tower, but he might just have to give this up. It's quite healthy, but he's the only one in a miles radius to defend it. But Westview doesn't know they're gonna have to back off, and they still only got that one tower to their name. Down two dragons and a bunch of kills. They need to scale up, but. It's tough. The Lee Sin was not able to make anything happen. Justin Ku once again reading his opponent very well and just shut him down. And the solo lanes doing solid. The bottom lane uh, steady as well for one high school. And just they need to scale up, but they just can't right now on the side of Westview. So one high school needs to not get cocky. They need to group up and end this game. They do not want to go to late game. While they do have an alright late game team, they don't want to go, They like later on they just want him to dive to really deal with both an Orianna and a Vayne being a huge threat. And Riven going in hard here, but that should be returned. Great response. That Riven going way too aggressive alone. Looks like they're tilting a little bit. That was an absolutely ill-advised play and that may be a tower. Thresh and Vayne caught out farming here in the bottom lane. They should be getting a lot of damage on this inhib tower. Sean does have teleport on that L-Star up in the top lane. Gonna push that up. They're gonna get some damage on this tower. Should back off now. Don't go too aggressive with this tower without your top laner. Hook will land on the Carlos. Doesn't look like they'll be able to aggress on it though. Culling providing covering fire to dissuade them from going in. As well as soup with those shooting out those dark spheres. Hook's gonna land but they just can't follow up. They don't have... The power right now, Oriana was forced back by that calling and the Cinder damage. Now the wave is here for top lane. This is what they needed to do. Pressure the top lane so no one could go stop. Pressure the mid lane so no one could go stop. Uh, Sean, but he's going in a little too preemptively. Throwing out the ult a little late. They're going to catch Thresh on the rotation. As Sean is going to flash over that wall brilliantly. And they are going to get out scot free. One pick to none. They're a little low on stun or a little low. But they should get this last inner tower for free. And then either choose to siege. Continue seizing. Gotta be really careful. Gets away from that bind. Vayne's gonna get caught. Just the Kuz gonna go in. Oh, we got an ult gonna deny him, but it's not gonna be enough. Alistair's gonna go in. And they're going to pick up the Bane as well. Great binding from Carlos. Support's hitting a lot of skill sh important skill shots here. But the difference is one high school's got the follow up to uh, finish them into kills. And Westview does not. Gonna go for more. Not going to get it though. Shouldn't matter. Hook shouldn't do anything. 
and this is going to be an inhibitor for one ice school at 24 minutes finish the inhibitor please they are going to Westview can't go in and Walnut High School looking really good here just great play all around hooks gonna land but that's not who they needed on and they just can't follow up skill shots going over the wall some parting gifts but they won't be able to get much Sean should just Sean dodges the hook and dodges and gets the great pulverized out. They're gonna look to go on him. Oh, Cole is gonna splash it very aggressively. They should pick up this Oriata. Uh, Soup's gonna pick that one up. Lee Sin should be out, but that's another kill. They're a little low on the mana to siege. Carlos won't have many black shields and binds, but Syndra on Soup still got that mana, uh, that blue buff, restoring his mana. They just gotta be a little bit more careful not getting hit by hooks because they don't have black shield anymore. Uh, they don't have a lot of black shields. This is actually getting a little iffy. If they get hit by a hook here, it could be bad, but no hooks are being able to land. And lots of damage actually going out to the Mono High School team. Alistar ready back, still teleport. You gotta be a little careful. Stun's gonna land out and stretch way too aggressive for a pick. Stoop's gonna punish that. And it's just kill after kill after kill for Water High School here. How much gold do they all have? Almost all, all of them in four digits. Three of them over 2k, another turret, this could be a second hit, another buy from Carlos, but no fine, doesn't finish off the kill, does a double shot before she dashes away, Lee Sin will get out with his life, but it honestly doesn't matter, they've all got so much gold here, finally going to recall, Dragon's up in 25 seconds, don't know if they're going to stay for that, doesn't look like they will, red buff too, and just everything going the way of Wall at high school here, absolutely perfectly played. They had the comp to stop the early game, smash through into the mid game and never let up and that's exactly what they did. Great shot call on coming out from the side of Walnut High School too. And soup looking for more here. <laughs> but it doesn't look like they, he'll be able to get anything. Gonna finally spend how much gold does he got? Oh, oh, 2700. What is he gonna pick up? And looks like he picks up the components for a death cap. He didn't do enough damage already. He's going to do even more. They got to pick up this dragon, it looks like. Possibly Baron 2 and move in to end this game. They got two inhibitors. The mid one's back, but they still got that top inhibitor that Westview is going to have to deal with. And this goal lead is massive. As well as everyone on the side of Wana High School. So fine. Not lagged out, thankfully. And so much damage out of this rivet. Rivet just... Not gonna be able to do much, and Sean's gonna headbutt the rivet over the wall. Misses the headbutt, fall and that's gonna be another missed kill. But it honestly doesn't matter right now. Some small mechanical errors coming out here. But uh, still gonna pick up this dragon, extend the goal lead even further, and then probably the Baron right after too if they want it. They can't really defend. They can't really. Uh, challenge for the Baron with how far behind they are. Blue buff's gonna be passed over to Soup here. Justin actually going for a pretty tanky build. Uh, going for that Locket after the Randuins and the Elder Lizard instead of something more aggressive like the Brutalizer. But with the team with this much damage, I guess they didn't really need to. Soup just demolishing everyone. Lots of items on real fine. And Sean. Not that much damage, but he did pick up an Ice Bowl, so he's got a decent amount. There's Alistar is not the champion to try to pick off here. Not sure what they're doing. And they're gonna take this, both blue buffs off the map. This one probably going over to Carlos. Maybe to Soup. I mean, maybe to Justin, I mean. And it looks like Justin will pick it up. And it looks like they will be setting up this Baron. Wasted a bit of time. But, uh, not too much. And this should be a free Baron. Inhibitors are coming up soon. They're gonna take this Baron and probably just go to Siege when the open inhibitors and look for a fight to end the game. Uh, Sean getting caught out here, but honestly doesn't care. Baron's gonna go on to him as it happens. He might kill the Oriana, but headbutts are over the wall again. And he's just kind of hanging around. They don't have any damage for him. He's kind of chilling, but his team is far. Gonna flash in and pick up the Oriana in a 3v1. That's gotta do... That's gotta be demoralizing for Westview. LOL and all Jack coming out. That Alistar refusing to die. Got that armor and that... MR, Lee Sin doesn't have a single damage item to his name, wasn't even able to finish up the Lizard Elder, and Thresh obviously not the biggest damaging support. They just couldn't kill the Alistar, especially with how far Oriana is, and that MR being picked up onto 
Sean on that Alistar. Bind gonna land. Goodbye, Thresh. Double stun lands. Vayne instantly burst it out. Flash forward and a dunk from um, Justin. And then just going in. Throw five. Doesn't care. Recall BM coming out from Justin here. They gotta pick up this last inhibitor turn and look to get the last and final, third and final inhibitor that is up for Westview High School A here. It's looking. It's looking very grim. 20k gold lead. This will surely be the game. Sean just being the bodyguard saying, The bouncer, really. You don't get to get out of your fountain, he says. Just trolling around. <laughs> Gets insected to the fountain. That was the worst insect I've ever seen. Thresh is somehow going to pick that kill up. Refined still hitting the towers. And this should surely be the game. Carlos going to flash in Lemonation style. Soup still killing people, Riven going in, last ditch ever from Westview, but they just don't have the damage, Vayne gonna get a chance to pick up Carlos, but that's all they're gonna get, GG coming out, they want this Oriana, one more kill, triple kill for Rofine on the Lucian, and that will be the game at 30 minutes, 25 to 6, 11 towers to 1, 23 k go lead for Wild High School, and they will take the set 2-0 against Westview High School A, for the, uh, Starting off strong in their group <laughs> with uh, three points to their name. So very, very well played from all high school. Showed two different comps. A very, very aggressive early game to mid game snowball comp that they played perfectly as you guys saw. Never let up with the pressure. Carlos started it out with those great roams. Great play in the lanes overall aside from some small hiccups here and there. Uh, and they just pushed their advantage really well picked up everything and slowly strangled it out and never let them get to the late game with their late game comp not really a late game comp but their their late game skilling champions and they shut that down and then of course in that first game they're running that protected Dristan comp and uh justin ku my mvp for the series just absolutely dominating the jungle both games that opened up the game for both uh for his team both times and just led them to an easy victory so yeah i have to give props to Huge, huge props to, uh, um, huge, huge props to just to Q for playing out of his mind both games on Jarvin and Lee Sin in these two games. And yeah, just very well played by him and the team overall. Soup definitely showing up for the second game and Rofine coming in as stand in, playing very well. And Carlos on point with his snares on both Morgana and Zyra. And then, uh, Sean is doing his job up in the top lane, got solo killed a little bit. But uh, ended up doing his job on both Lulu and Alistar, those, those uh, supporting champions, kind of his role in this team, and just two good wins from Walla High School to start off. Alright. So yeah, thanks to all 20 viewers for coming out and supporting the team. I will be streaming Walla High School Team A's team in... Uh, my, from my perspective tomorrow, we will be playing Palo Alto at 8 p.m. PST, so come uh, check it out if you want. And uh, yeah, I'm going to end stream here. Thanks to everyone for uh, stopping by, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.